Sahabi. You mentioned last time another hadith. About the Sahabi who made Taymum uh, roll on the floor. He was in Janub and he went through the process. Ah, Ammar ibn Yasser. Yeah. Yeah, he did, uh, he did Qiyas. Yeah, and then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. did not tell him not to make Qiyas, but he said it was wrong. Okay, this is this is Ammar ibn Yasser. <coughs> Ammar ibn Yasser say that he was in state of Janaba. What he did, he went and then did. If you have seen the, the horse, what he does rolling. when on, rolling on the floor on the on the. So Ammar ibn Yasser here, he was on state of Janaba. Uh, this is something I have not seen before. This is <laughs> someone very intelligent. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ammar ibn Yasir was in state of Janaba and then uh, he rolled himself. He took like he, he, he put sand over all his body mm. and he came to the Prophet. The Prophet told him what happened and the Prophet told him it was enough for you to do this. And then he, he hit on the on the on the yes. dirt, and then he did this and this. He he wiped on his face and his uh, hands. Yeah. Now they say here, look, taking shower, he did qiyas. Mm. Yeah. And Rasulullah of course, in the hadith, told him don't do this. But he never told him why do, did you do qiyas. The answer to this is like this. First, if we had no the ayah of Tayammum that says that says uh, wipe your hands and your face. Your faces and your faces and your hands. If we don't have this ayah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa in kuntum junuban fattaharu, if you are in state of Janaba do tahara, mm. do tahara, tatataharu, cleanse yourselves, mm. yourselves. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, clean yourself with water, what we go and what we do? Uh, do I go and clean myself with water, clean my head, or my arms, or my feet? He said, clean yourselves. That has been everybody, everything. Your head, your arms, everybody, everything. <coughs> and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you don't find water, okay. use the earth. Now, Ammar ibn Yasser, there is two cases here. He either did tayammum. Uh, the ayah of tayammum is like this. فَلَمْ تَجِدُوا مَاءً فَتَيَمَّمُوا if you don't find water, do tayammum. Yes? Yeah. If you don't find water, فَلَمْ تَجِدُوا مَاءً فَتَيَمَّمُوا صَعِيدًا طَيِّبًا What is it? But if you are ill, no. Okay. But if you are, Allah, yeah. But if you are ill, or on a journey, or any of you comes after answering the call of nature, or you have been in contact with women, and you find no water, then perform tayammum with clean earth, with clean earth. And then it goes further to say, and rub therewith your faces and hands. Sometimes the ayah, the same ayah, come in two parts. Sometimes one ayah come in two parts. It's not in the same time. Rasulullah mm-hmm. Adi ibn Hatim said when this ayah was revealed, and eat and drink until you can see the white, the the white thread. from the black, uh, the black thread. thread. He said, at the, I put something under my pillow. Mm. <laughs> and then came the, uh, the, the addition that says, min al from the night. So the ayah first, it was just the, the white from the black thread. It doesn't say from the night. Mm. And then, after, it came. Or the hadith of Zayd ibn Thabit, where he said the Rasul leg was on my leg, and he was reading this ayah, لا يستوي القاعدون من المؤمنين. They are not equal. 
those who sit behind from the believers and those who fight and then Abdullah ibn Maktum the blind came and they said I am blind and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this they are not equal those who stay high behind except you see this is something in the middle came now except the, the blind people so now this ayah is either one of two when it has been revealed it says like this either it has been revealed this way mm. uh, then perform tayammum with, ha with hands no then perform tayammum with clean earth and rub therewith your faces and hands it either has been revealed this way altogether and Ammar ibn Yasir went and did what he has done and he contradicted the ayah clearly <coughs> in this case they will say this is the wrong qiyas they will say with us if you do qiyas where there is, uh, that contradict the ayah that is wrong so we don't need to argue about this huh? they will accept that this is wrong huh? and that so or they will say no he didn't have the full ayah he had only that use the earth and if you use the earth and you have to clean yourself of course you have to clean all your body yeah. uh, there, there is no need for qiyas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fattaharu cleanse yourselves so you have to clean all your body not just part of it hmm. but then <coughs> they're saying that the Prophet did not tell him but I told you that I told you this is he didn't do qiyas yeah. the first the second case but no because of ghusl mm. you clean your whole body how do you know that also you clean your whole body? That's what they because Allah subhanahu wa said, no. cleanse yourselves. Yes. Yeah, when Allah subhanahu wa said, clean yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa said, clean yourself. So. Fattaharu. He didn't say with water, or without with no. with. Huh? Now when you go and if just with this ayah, when Allah subhanahu wa said, fattaharu, cleanse yourself, I will not need further dalil mm. to go and take shower fully. You understand? I've been commanded to clean my whole self. Yeah, no, yourselves. Mm. So I'm not going to wash my hand. Mm. I'm going to wash everything. Yeah, yes, yeah? Because Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, cleanse yourselves. Yeah? yeah? And then he said, if you don't find water, mm. use the earth. Mm. So I will have to cleanse myself as well. I don't, but with my hand, my head, go and say, okay, I'm going to just rub my hair. Huh? With, with, I have to clean every single inch of my body mm -hmm. so saying that's until the ayah, and yeah, of course, that's for that, yeah. until the ayah says, do uh, just clean, uh, rub your hand and your face. <coughs> if he had that ayah, that part, if he had that part, then he didn't. He 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 he, he clearly used qiyas against the the dalil, the dalil mm -hmm. which they consider to be wrong, which they agree that Rasulullah would have told him you are wrong anyway. Sure. Huh? Now Rasulullah not everything in religion is qiyas. Not every mistake in religion is qiyas. Sometimes people do qiyas because they use their own opinion, and not every opinion is qiyas. So Rasulullah definitely he won't know why he did this did he do it qiyas opinion did he do taqlid of another person did he mm. and he didn't tell him anything he just told him that you are wrong mm. of course Rasulullah Sallam will not guess huh? and we have not seen here that he has done qiyas anyway mm. yeah. and I will give you if that is the case if this is the case that Rasulullah Sallam didn't tell him that you have done not qiyas that means this is accept, accept this is this means that this is qiyas and we have to accept it in religion he waited for ammar ibn yasir to give a hint and then he will say okay let's do see the hints that rasulullah has given to other when rasulullah told the sahaba you shouldn't eat meat more than three nights three days hmm? three nights for when you slaughter for eid and then the sahaba this following year they started melting fat to keep it and Rasulullah heard about it here the Sahaba didn't do Qiyas and what's Qiyas like this? Huh? they say the, 
the, the fat of the pig is haram because qiyas on the meat. Here, Sahaba, Rasulullah told them not to eat the meat. They started melting the fat, the fat. to keep it because they can't. Eat. When he was asked, when he asked why are they doing this, they said, "You said you shouldn't eat meat more than three nights." He said, "No, that was because of a reason." So he told them that is not valid anymore. You can eat now, huh? mm -hmm. but he never told them why didn't you do qiyas? Mm -hmm. hmm? So this is one against one. And we know for sure that Rasul was ordering people all the time. And people were not doing qiyas. And we have never had hadith that Rasul has told people why didn't you do qiyas. Hmm? Rasul forbid the donkey. And the Sahaba slaughtered a horse. He never said, why don't you do qiyas? Rasulullah SAW told people, if you go to the mosque, pray two rak'ah, and they called it the people to call it Tahit al-Masjid. And they never said, and the Sahaba never prayed two rak'ah when they leave the mosque. Just like when you go to people's place, you say, Salaamu Alaikum, and then when you leave, you say, Alaikum, Salaamu Alaikum. And they never told them, oh, why don't you use it and do qiyas? I can give you a lot of examples like this. Huh? And he never told them, why don't you do qiyas? Use your, your imagination. If you take, if you want hints, this is hints. Yeah. If you said, let the water touch the whole body. Of course. Okay. Now, what he then did in Tayammum, if that's what he was doing, yeah. he didn't take, from what I, yeah. from what I, he wasn't naked rolling on the ground here with his own body. Yeah? Well, with, probably with his own body, we don't know. But we don't know if it, it wasn't in front of them. We don't know if it was in front of them. Or yeah, he, he said that I cleanse myself and I will believe that he took his clothes or and, <laughs> and, and, and he rolled. Huh? Uh, you can't yeah. see the clothes and actually. Yeah? Was this no, somebody with him? Was there, was no? Umar al Khattab was in journey with him, doesn't mean that he did it in front of Umar al Khattab, and if he did it. So is it Umar uh, written the hadith so he says? No, Umar al Khattab denied it. Abdul Khattab, Umar al Khattab couldn't remember this, this uh, story. Later yeah, so, it's, so it's him narrating the hadith, yeah? Yes, Ammar ibn Yasser himself narrating the hadith, and the hadith is narrated by other people as well. Now, uh, uh, this is the, the, the answer for... Uh, did, did, did you get the answer, or do you want more explanation what about this? What did Ammar do? Exactly. Huh? What did Ammar do? When he did that? He didn't pray. Hmm. He didn't pray, because he couldn't find water, he didn't pray. <laughs> now... This is, this is the, uh, the answer to that as well. The Prophet sent him for something. In this hadith, he does mention that he was with Umar, that he was with Umar. And then what happened? Ammar ibn Yasser rolled in the sun. Yeah, he said, I rolled in the sun the way the animal died referring to the horse, so huh? a horse when a, a horse okay. have you have you seen a horse in the sun? Yeah, yeah. Rolling? When they're rolling. Yeah. Is that the animal? Yeah. So uh, I'm just going back quickly to that hadith. So uh, the Prophet sent Umar and Ammar. For <coughs> in the way they both had Janaba. So uh, Umar didn't pray. Ammar rolled in the sun and because the eye of him mm. he was doing <coughs> uh, he knew that sun will stand for is it, instead of water because there was no water so he rolled in the sun and prayed and then when he came back hmm, the prophet told Ammar ibn Yasir that was enough for you to do this and then the prophet hit the the, the, the land, the floor, Sa'id, what we call the face of the earth huh? he hit his hand, surface of the with his hand, huh? blow like this then he wiped his face and his hand up to the face hmm? I said last time but some people here say that Ammar did Qiyas. 
yeah, because he instead of water he thought that the whole body. Hmm? Truth is, he didn't do any qiyas here because we say the ayah is clear. If you don't find water, do tiyamu. Hmm? Then go towards the surface of the earth. Hmm? Then wipe your faces and your hands. So, we say, if Ammar bin Yasser knew this ayah fully like this, the way it is, the way I just mentioned it, then he definitely have made a mistake. Hmm? That's what we say, that's what the other people say, the opposite say, go for the Qiyas. Because here he is contradicting the ayah, which says, wipe your faces and your hands. doesn't say, say you wipe your body. If he didn't knew the ayah, or the full ayah, just part of it, then he was right. Because Allah said, cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself, meaning, he said, if you don't find water, then use the surface of the earth. So you use the surface of the earth, clean yourself. It's not Ill allowed, nobody is allowed to come and say, clean yourself, I will clean my hands, or my face, or my feet. Hmm? Understand? Mm. He is supposed to clean himself, everything that is, all himself. Understand? So he didn't do yet. yet. However, this hadith is clear, that Allah doesn't do yet. Some people, they don't say it directly, but so, some stupid people say it directly, that Allah does Qiyas huh? in Quran, look at the Quran. So here they say, okay, look, Ammar have made Qiyas by rolling in the sun, comparing it to shower. But it's not. Hmm? I say that it's not Qiyas. Why? Because Allah says, clean yourself. Hmm? He says, Wa in kuntum junuban, If you are in state of Janada, clean yourself. Now, if we have not seen the Prophet taking shower, full shower with water, we are still say, tell people, you have to take a full shower. If someone says, no, 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 it's only, I'm going just to wash the part that I wash normally in wudu. We say, no, I'm not cleaning yourself. Hmm? Or someone say, no, I'm going just to wash my feet. You understand? Or someone says, uh, he's going to wash like his private parts or whatever. Hmm? or the part that he touches the woman from his body. You say, no, Allah says, clean yourself. So it has to be full body. And then, he says, if you don't find water, then go to the surface of earth. So you have to do it exactly. We say, still, you have to do the full body. Mm -hmm. That if we didn't have this ayah that says, clean your faces and your hands. Understand? Yeah. And here Allah didn't do qiyas. The Prophet didn't do qiyas. Huh?